Hello friends, in this video, we are going to solve numerical based on system frequency at different loads and load sharing conditions. So let us begin. So friends here, the question is given regarding the system frequency at different load or load sharing conditions. So first let us understand what is given here and what is asked to calculate. The two generators rated 200 MV megawatt and 400 megawatt are operating in parallel. The droop characteristics of there are 4% and 5% respectively from no load to full load. What is the meaning of this? Uh, if the generator one, if you are loading it from no load condition to the full load condition, the frequency we get 4% okay at full load condition and for the second generator we get the frequency 5% of the rated frequency the rated frequency of course it is a 50 hertz assuming that the generators are operating at 50 hertz at no load condition okay how would a total load of 600 megawatt be shared between them okay and what will be the system frequency at this load assuming free governor operation that is the first part the second case is repeat the problem if both governors have group of four percent okay so we'll discuss the uh, solution for the part one first solution will take case one first okay now here what is given we have two generators okay so the generator one what we have to do is we have to supply a load of 600 megawatt okay so the total power demand here we have is 600 megawatt so we have to uh, find the share of generator one and generator two how much of this 600 megawatt will be taken by first generator and how much will be taken by the second generator regarding their group characteristics okay so with that let us consider that generator one which is having a rating as 200 megawatt will take a load of x megawatt because we don't know initially how much to be given to the first generator okay accordingly the second generator let us consider the load on the second generator it can take a maximum load of 400 megawatt okay so with that the load on it would be 600 minus x megawatt okay now definitely uh, the frequency will reduce okay because no load frequency is 50 hertz it is given and as we are going to load the generator as we are going to increase the generator frequency will reduce so that reduction in frequency let us consider it to be del f reduction in frequency let us assume it to be the del f okay so now of this del f reduction in frequency for generator one and generator two we can write this way for generator one i can write it as reduction in frequency upon x how much load it is going to take okay is equal to the droop characteristics what is the droop characteristics for the first generator it is four percent means 0 0.004 of 50 hertz at 200 megawatt okay so this is how you have to write the relationship for the first generator same way for generator two it would be a reduction in frequency for the load of how much load now it is going to take 600 minus x it is equal to what is the droop for the second generator it is five percent so it would be 0 0.0005 what is the no load frequency it is 50 hertz divided by what is the uh, full load capacity it is 400 okay now here you see reduction in frequency see now as the alternators are operating in parallel frequency on both the alternator will remain same see here we can say that these two alternators are forming a coherent group okay so as they are operating in parallel therefore the frequency will remain same so that reduction in frequency will also remain same 
so i can equate this reduction in frequency uh, and i can calculate the value of x so let us see how we can do that let's see how i'm doing over here this del f i can write it as 0 0.04 into 50 divided by 200 into that x mx that x i'm shifting on that side it is equal to now for this del f it is 0 0.05 into 50 divided by 400 and of course that bracket i'll shift on that side it will become 600 minus x okay now just solve this for x and get the value of x okay now we can do that you just see here 50 50 on both side i can cancel it out that is 200 ones are 200 200 twos are 400 we can cancel it okay so we left with here is that is 0 0.004 0 0.04 x is equal to uh, on this side we have that 0 0.05 divided by 2 into 600 minus x we have okay now if we solve this what we will get here you just see now i will shift this 2 on that side so we'll get here this 2 get multiplied here so we'll get 0.08x is equal to now we have that 0.05 multiplied with this 600 if you multiply this with 600 you'll get see 5 6 are 30 we have okay uh, then this are uh, two zeros okay so i'll write these two zeros but we have to uh, put this decimal point so we have to apply this decimal point after two digit so it would become 30 here okay minus that 0 0.05 will get multiplied with x so we'll get 0 0.05 x here so shift that 0 0.05 on that side it will become plus so 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 we get here 0 0.13 x is equal to 30 okay if you solve it for x we'll get the value of x to be 231 okay megawatt you will get okay uh, now you see here the generator one is having the full load capacity as 200 megawatt but due to the different group characteristics now the generator one is getting overloaded okay we can write comment here due to difference in group okay different group generator one is overloaded here okay what about the generator two it is 600 minus x okay if it is 600 minus x so what value we get here 600 minus 231 megawatt this value we will get here okay so if you solve this you'll get the second generator would be rated for or the load given to the second generator will be the load shared by the second generator will be 369 megawatt okay so this will be the load sharing if they are operating at that group characteristics okay but it is clearly observed it is a clear observation that with these group characteristics the generator one is getting overloaded so now we'll discuss the case two where it is asked the asked to keep the group characteristics as same okay we'll discuss now case two where we are having the same group characteristics so as we have the same group characteristics I am directly writing those equation 0 0.04 it is asked to consider the group characteristics of two, both the generators as 4% only so with that it would become 0 0.04 into 50 divided by 200 and for second generator it would become uh, 600 minus x is equal to now here instead of 0 0.05 we get 0 0.04 divided by 600 we get okay you just solve this uh, same way as we just solved okay so let me put that 0 0.04 into 50 divided by 200 x i'll write here that x i shifted here now for this del f it will be 0 0.04 into 50 divided by 600 into that 600 minus x we get here 
okay i think it is uh, 400 not 600 so we should write here 400 okay now you see here the terms 0 0.04 0 0.04 get cancelled 50 50 get cancelled 200 ones are 200 200 twos are a 400 okay so this two i'll shift on that side it will become 2x now here we left with 600 minus x so that minus x if i shift on that side it will become 3x is equal to 200 so x is coming as 200 megabyte so if we are having the same uh, same group characteristics with this the loading of the generator will be to their full load capacity only so generator one will be loaded with uh 200 megawatt and the frequency will remain same here and of course the generator 2 will be get uh, will get loaded with its full load capacity okay so this is how we have to solve the problems related to the load sharing considering the reduction or the controlling the frequency okay thank you very much